What's going on, guys? Hope you're well out there. Welcome to a few percent me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today. It's March 3rd, 2024, and it's 9.27 p.m. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are all well out there. Appreciate you guys so very much for all your contribution, for helping this channel grow and advance. Thank you so very much. If you've never been here before, I do Oracle Index 3 decks of Tarot. All right. So I'm going to use the Earthcraft Oracle first. And see what we get. Hope you guys had a good day today. It's so windy where I am. It's crazy. It's like that yesterday and today. I came home and put my little sweater dress on like immediately. Like right after work. Stay warm. All right, here we go. One more time. Thirty four at the bottom. Spirit Weaver. Interesting. And number two. Accept your gifts. Okay. So two and thirty four. Thirty four break down to seven also. <clears throat> okay. Accept uh, your gifts. Okay. Your unique gifts are what makes you who you are, and they are the most natural path to finding your purpose. For some, gifts may come in the form of a green thumb or an innate ability to heal animals. For others, their gifts might be compassion, strong intuition, and a naturally open heart. Gifts are as varied as the billions of people who live on this earth, and no two gifts are exactly the same. It is common to receive this card when you are doubting yourself and your natural talents. A part of us always knows what we're good at. We receive little moments of clarity when doing something that sparks curiosity, joy, familiarity, and excitement. Accepting your natural gifts is like the sun rising on a new day. It brings light and clarity after a period of darkness or a sense of feeling lost. Using your gifts will feel natural, as though you can't imagine how life would be without it. Doubting your gifts drains your power. If you are feeling unmotivated, lacking in energy, or confused, it is likely because you must learn to trust in yourself Again, believe in your ability to know what feels right in your soul. Accept your gifts. They will bring light to the path of confidence, joy, and fulfillment. Yes, your gifts bring a lot, just period, to <laughs> the whole collective. What is this 34th Spirit Weaver? It says, magic is not something that is reserved for only a lucky few. Everyone is born with powerful magic. And you will have that magic until the end of eternity. This means you are a spirit weaver and have the ability to manifest the life of your 
dreams. And this card has come to you as a gentle reminder of your power. Okay, Ophiuchus, don't forget that you are powerful. All right, let's get with these little index cards and see what combination comes out today. Accepting your gifts, accepting who you are. All of us are different. Like I said, I mean, it even had compassion listed there, you know. Like, you know, you just, you're just a very kind, considerate, compassionate person. It could be anything. Your gift could be anything. The way you have patience, you know, and when you find out what your true gifts are, it's a lot easier to find what your profession should be. If you, you know, like if you're unsatisfied in a certain sector of work or something like that. One more time. Someone's infatuated. <laughs> One more time. Second date. Well, all right. Let's see, let's see what we do. One more time. Do you still care? It's like all the song cards came out today. <laughs> Maybe not all of them, but enough. Okay. And that card came back out today. Interesting. All right, here we go. Let's get to the second stack here. It's amazing how long this one part takes. Like uh, the oracle and the index. <laughs> They better recognize I'm playing around with you. Somebody likes to swim a lot. <laughs> One more. One more. The Queen of the Castle. One more. Damn, it's like 17 cards. <laughs> Very studious. Spend a lot of time learning and researching and studying and all of that thing. A lot of cards. Let me get a deck off the other table. All right, whatever comes out is all that I'm taking on this stack here.
new adventures await you. You have a website, www.foryou.com. Move forward, not backwards. All right, let's see. Two, uh, two decks that I'm going to grab. Whatever. Because I see the colors in here, so I'll use those two. And then the third one, I'll just figure it out as we go along. So here we have a real friend you are. You inspire them to be better. Isolation may be needed. The war is won before the battle begins. Hmm. Innovative mind. Hear me out, please. Shocked and baffled. You got this. Life is a quest. I want to be down with what you're going through. Randy Norwood. Needy, clingy energy. Someone drives... And Audi. They mistreated you? Really? From friends to lovers. Mother in law. Harmless as a dove. And as wise as an owl. Truth is needed. Loyalty is everything. It's priceless. You go the extra mile. The end. Period. That's, that's that. <laughs> Very well known and popular. Don't listen to what people say. They don't know about, about you and me. John B. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> Peaches and herbs. Too good to be true. Very spiritual. Found a new path. No more dead ends. Brown sugar, baby. I get high off your love and I don't know how to be. Hey, maybe some of y'all like to sing or something. Be an artist, you know, or, you know, write, you know, musician, or, you know, uh, play music or whatever, you know, so. Um. You know, maybe you've been thinking about, you know, trying your, your talent out. And go for it. Don't stop. Exactly. Keep it going. If you stop, try it. Get back out there. Take it easy on yourself. Okay. It'll all be all right. Born between 1965 and 1970, even if you... Feel a little older and like, oh, you know, all the competition out there in the world. No, 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 no. You know, just because, you know, there are a million singers, there's not you out there. You know, you're different. Whatever. You know, you're just different. So, we're all different. Time to pack those bags. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody <laughs> go to it and Kimbra. It's moving along very fast. Not getting enough rest. Truth always prevails. I laid in the bed all day yesterday. Literally, I was like, I haven't done this in like over a year. So I'm always up on this desk in the computer reading doing a video watching a movie something i was like i need to go just relax um <laughs> yellow 
it's never too late to begin a new. Exactly. So right. oh, that's the song saying in the background. Um, I think it's uh, let us see. It's all right. <laughs> I think it's Lettucey. Uh, yeah, everything's gonna be all right. Been together since high school. Swimming. Adopted. Stagnant energy around. Real low key. Not a lot of friends. The origin of the problem is always money the enemy is tired that's good you wear glasses or they wear glasses and still can't see you you're into snowboarding and skiing like my brother like he got his daughter into it she loves it just like he does i'm like you can keep that mountain and that snow okay <laughs> stay down here and yeah, you guys go party and have a blast. Anxious energy. <laughs> Leather car seats. Neon green. Celebrate good times. All right, come on. And here you have R and R time. Maybe really like to go to the beach. Maybe your name starts with the letter P. Two, three, four. You're on the right track. Stay aware. Half your orange. That's so why I got the other deck, the orange deck. So yellow has everything to do with um your um solar plexus, you know. And you know what you're you know, you're passionate about and things like that. Oh uh, actually um, the sacral chakra orange is about passion as well, so that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, the yellow talks about personal power, self confidence, ambition, and your will. And with the orange, sexuality, emotions, creativity, and pleasure. So, you know, maybe even mixing a couple of those different things around, you know, to create some special, I don't know, event or, I, I, I don't know. I said event, like, you would be performing, not necessarily, I mean, maybe you would be performing, I'm not too sure. And your gifts maybe at an arena or for someone or doing something for someone at some sort of location you know like i said maybe healing maybe you're like a, a massage therapist or something of that nature you know and you you rent out a booth or you know have like a party or something i, I don't know um you know like i said just right just different ways to create something here <laughs> let me move on ambient uh, ambient why did i say that maybe it's because it's what it looks like ambivert and you're um you're a little bit of both ambivert ambivert okay old neighborhood friends okay breakfast for dinner mm -hmm. Enjoy the journey. You like taking long walks. Family counseling. Okay. And you're underestimated. That's interesting. Okay. So let's get it here. Oh, with the yellow deck first. Okay. 
One more time. Queen of Pentacles. Whatever it is, you're sitting nice. You realize that you have it together. You know, uh, all of your hard work's paid off. And or whatever it is that you are getting ready to dive into and or pay more attention to is going to uh, yield, you know, greatly here. We have two or three. Only two came out. Okay. And then with the Wheel of Fortune, roll the dice. See what happens. The Falling right on top of the end, period, you know. Time to pack those bags. Two of Pentacles change from friends to lovers of war is one before the battle even begun. You have an innovative mind. Mother-in-law, don't listen to what people say. Very well known, popular. Something's moving along very fast. The judgment in reverse, though, here it says truth is needed, shocked, and baffled. Something was too good to be true. Truth always prevails. Found a new path, no more dead ends. Maybe somebody was trying to play you, you know, um, like maybe in the past or something like that, um, and kind of got you to not put any attention into your craft or your gifts or you didn't realize, maybe even also. Maybe you didn't realize yourself that something, you know, like I said, like patience or something like that was actually like a, a real gift. Like, you know, you didn't really know that, you know, you were out here like the only one and no one else has patience, you know. Um, So it's like you weren't really totally awakened or something like that. Or maybe you, you still are learning yourself and haven't totally, completely understood stood or quite don't understand totally all of what where your sh strength lies you know where all your where your superpowers are you know and what you can do with that you know where you can work where you can make a difference you know um after you basically yeah understand where you you you're a master in a sense in certain areas, right? So, um, right, things are moving and changing. Right, so maybe things are changing now that you're starting to accept these gifts. So here with the Knight of Cups and the Strength underneath the Wheel of Fortune. I guess, you know, just in terms of what we're talking about, you know, some sort of gift or something that you have to present, to bring to the table, to the planet, you know. Um, this here, Knight of Cups, 
some sort of offer, some sort of uh, something that's there for you. Um, I don't know maybe how you'll present it, but you stayed strong um, during, I don't know, just the course of your life, you know, just, um, just moving forward, just period, just, it says, don't stop, keep it going. So then here you have a King of Wands, which talks about creativity falling underneath this change you know like i said and i always use the two of pentacles as a past present and future where you've been where you're at where you're going so the tables are turning things are changing you're looking at you know like how things can change in your life right so you hadn't acknowledged or been awakened to how things could how this work could be already won you know basically with you you know, doing what you really truly love, you know, or you maybe not even understanding or knowing what that would be, but, you know, tapping in with self and understanding where your gifts lie, and then you can be able to kind of, you know, expand on that. <clears throat> if I'm making sense. Okay. <laughs> so, hang on once. Creativity, passion. Okay. Um,. And also with the strength, you know, just moving forward in life, you know, um, not knowing, you know, um, where anything may actually lead, you know. I mean, because still, you still have to do the work, you know, you can say, oh, I'm just, I have all this patience, so what do I do? I go work in the field now with, you know, elderly people or, um, and, you know, geriatrics or, you know, with children. But still now, now you have to go get, you know, some sort of credential or, you know, certification or, you know, degrees or, you know, so it's still levels to it, you know, but it may help you understand where you're needed in a sense, right? So here with the sun, talked about joy. And there's something that does bring you a lot of joy. What did it say? Why did I ever keep this book out? Can anybody tell me? What did it say about joy? Oh, it was the last way harder. <sighs> okay, I thought I saw it more than once, but however it is, it says here, accept your gifts, they will bring light to the path of confidence, joy, and fulfillment. Yeah. So you're definitely on this path of confidence, and before you didn't you didn't see it, but now it says here a newfound path with no more dead ends. You're you definitely see it now. You know now we need. I can see clearly now. <laughs> But celebrate good times, come on, you know. It's, yeah, it's good. Okay, so Six of Pentacles. This is just you alone out here, you know. It's just you. It's not you working and collabing with anybody. It's just you really figuring out who you are. This one came out and I kind of didn't fall all the way, so I'm going to keep it. And then this one next. I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna take this one fell off first. So ten of swords. 
and I maybe you haven't worked with anybody, don't want to work with any, rather roll solo with work because you know maybe you've been played a lot, you know, um, taken advantage of, so on and so forth. Okay. A lot of negativity or something. And here with the Eight of Swords. And I saw isolation needed. Oh, right here. Right, right above it. Isolation, time to, more time to think. Things are changing for you, or opportunity came along, and you're like, okay. Let me, let me think about this. Is this really what I want to do? With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, next, falling on this next section. Like, right, you have to go and think about it. Is this the opportunity for me? You know, I said, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you want to take it, maybe you don't. Six of Swords, smooth sailing. Things are going good. Like I said, the two, three, four, you're on some sort of right path, enjoying the journey. Okay. <clears throat> but, you know, um, always be aware, you know, all don't, you know, always proceed with caution. The Queen of Swords. And so always proceed with caution. Maybe someone knows how to speak real clever, you know, uh, real eloquently educated, you know, so on and so forth. And, um, you know, may, I, I don't know, you know, just try to maybe use you or, I don't know, so always just be mindful and careful and, you know, listen carefully and make sure that, you know, you're, everyone's on the same page, you know. Um, and now you have the Queen of Cups. Interesting. So you may have one that's just like strictly business, like straight business is not a time to play. And then you may have one over here that's kind of like free flowy, you know, maybe you have like two different types of like energy, you know, maybe one's more like a hippie and kind of like free and maybe the other one's like really strict in business and this is the way, you know, real meticulous, you know, so maybe you're maybe not like the hippie type, you know, and, and real chill, maybe you need a little bit more of a structure like someone that you know that's going to be on top of stuff, you know, so I'm not too sure in terms of, but it did here say that maybe you weren't thinking about working with someone or maybe uh, working with people in the past, or, hmm, or maybe it's saying, you know, it's either that you were working with people in the past and it wasn't good, or maybe it is saying that maybe, you know, you've been like kind of on the single, not working with anyone. But maybe, maybe that hadn't been working out for you. I'm not too sure. Something, one way or the other, like a lot of problems, a lot of issues. But here I'm picking up like two totally different chicks. 
<laughs> totally different vibes. Okay, and you know, there's just two two totally different people here. One is you're sitting thinking about how it would be to work with this person or something, and this other person here, maybe they're not the ones to work with. With the Seven of Swords. Sneaky deception. Um, not telling you all of something. And then at the bottom, the Queen of Wands. Interesting. It was a Queen of Pentacles. That's all of them. That's the Empress. There's a Queen of Pentacles at the bottom when we started. Here's a Queen of Swords. Here's a Queen of Cups. And here's a Queen of Wands. So that's Empress level, right? If that's... if Okay, so then that, that's you. Like, you know, you're out here being real creative. But you got a King of Wands right here. So, okay, King of Wands or the Queen of Wands, whomever, you know, you're in your creative vibe, doing your thing. And I still feel like there are two totally different people here, you know, in terms of who you may want to uh, start working with and doing some sort of project. Um getting something started you're thinking about how that will work okay appreciate you guys for being here with me thank you so very much for rocking in here with me on a secret send me where i do your daily reads come back and rock with me anytime here guys i appreciate all the love and support like share comment and subscribe please and thank you and of course only if you like i appreciate it all here we go one more time. Nine of Cups at the bottom. So something just brings you a lot of joy, bliss. Um, you're, you're excited about something, and also it represents just energy, just love, um, that's for you. Knight of Wands. So I'm gonna do it my way, energy. What's best for me? I'm determined to make things happen. Youthful, vibrant energy. Seven of Pentacles. We've done plenty of things in the past. But was it? Was it, was it this, you know what I mean? Like, was it, <laughs> can't get my words out. You have done many things. I'm here with the hierophant. But now you're tapping in with yourself, you know, like, if I'm saying, you know, like, God is, your God-given gifts. Yeah, you've done a lot of things, but have you done those things after realizing that you're a natural at this or that, you know. So here with the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Um, we started looking into um, different areas of...
the category or the or whatever it is that you do. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles and freaking upright right here where it's in the reverse. <laughs> Yeah, and then here's again the Eight of Swords, two times when the Eight was Eight of Swords was right here. So my isolation may be needed. So now we're ending it with the second part. Two times out, Eight of Swords. Two times out, Ace of Pentacles. So basically, with the Page of Swords, I said, you know, it's like you're learning more about yourself honing in on this particular char characteristics characteristics of self and or talent skill something of that nature and really paying attention to who vibes with you so you can have the right pentacle that's going to make that, you know, long-lasting effect on your life, okay, six of pentacles, right, so now, who will you work with, so maybe before the six of pentacles, or maybe saying you didn't, you didn't like people you worked with, or something like that, I'm not too sure, mm. all right, I'm gonna grab this here. I'm sorry, excuse me, guys. I'm getting tired. Ten o'clock. All right, here we go. Last deck. Accepting your gifts, whatever they are, oh peoples, and uh, whoever these two different people are here. You know, you will definitely know and follow, follow your your gut, your intuition. Even, you know, like, oh, wow, they seem really nice. Oh, wow, they offer, you know, so many great, you know, whatever, amenities, or, you know, uh, along with this package, you know, but it's just like, hmm, you know, like, they like X, Y, and Z, and I just like X and Y, and they like just X and Y, so I think I work better here, you know, or whatever. So, let's see what we get, y'all. It's the last set. One more time. <laughs> you have a big heart you're full of love you know and um, you want things to work out the right way and this the queen of pentacles was the first card out and it was the first card at the bottom when we first got started now it's the first card out <laughs> I was sitting here thinking. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles. Maybe she's the one to work with because she is the one that can, that pentacle that she's holding. She can make way for you here. For you to have that ace of pentacles sitting upright this other one you know it was like mm. so you know you have to really stay calculated pay attention move slow don't don't just jump because like i said because it had all the 
nice amenities and you can come here and do this and do that. You know, you have to really think about it. And five of Cups. Because you probably would have been left disappointed after about a year of working with this person. Maybe you wouldn't have been able to do uh, things exactly the way that you like to do things. So here with the Six of Cups. Maybe working with this person feel, you know, maybe, like I said, they feel close to you in some type of way. Like, you know, like, like home or not like in a relationship, like, but, you know, just like, the feel like the nostalgic like type feeling but not nostalgic in that manner you know just like you know just warm or something I'm here with the king of pentacles right so you can sit there and hold on to that pentacle after feeling like split in two because maybe you were out in the world just doing and working and being, but not really being fulfilled while doing, uh, you know, your work or anything, you know. So you have to really tap back in with yourself and spend a little bit of time to see the things that you like to do so you can do it, okay? Even like snowboarding or skiing or, you know, like maybe you find that, you know, it's therapeutic, you know, maybe you can, and you're really good at it, maybe you could teach someone how to, you know, become a teacher, or something like that, you know, um, says your anxious energy, like, you're helping people learn how to stay calm, you know, or I don't know, but whatever you're good at, it's your gift, it doesn't, it's not, you know, we're all different, so, Oh, wow. Queen of Cups at the bottom. <clears throat> Somebody really does want to work with you. <laughs> uh, but I still feel that it's just too prominent particular individuals um, and one is very successful uh, resourceful dead serious okay stern and very productive and the other one is just free flowy and you know she has good good energy um, but yeah there we have it. If you can stop, check you guys later. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.